Hi there, I'm Lisa, Lisa from Lollipop Box Club. Welcome back to my channel, thank you. Um, I am going to be doing another day in the life of a working mum today. Um, I have actually already started work, I didn't do this very well. I wanted to do a typical Monday vlog. I really don't like Mondays, it's my worst day of the week, which probably sounds a little strange when I work from home and I decide what I'm doing that day, but Mondays are always more of a catch up day after the weekend. I have loads of admin to do, which I really hate. I like the creating side of my business, I don't like the paperwork side. And although I don't actually take a day off and I work Monday through till Sunday um, at the weekend I tend to do more jobs within the family area so that I can still be around my family so I do less um, paperwork um, desk jobs as I call them so Monday's always more of a catch-up day I've got quite a long uh, list of to do's today I did actually I worked through till 10 30 last night and my alarm was set for 4 30 this morning as I really do have so much I needed that head start this morning I did hit the snooze button a couple of times and I didn't start filming from then because I felt so tired. I felt really rubbish this morning. I'm sorted. I've had a good stint of work already. I've sent off emails. I've paid invoices and I'm in the middle of doing my simple stories um, blog post. I've done all the artwork yesterday. I've edited all the photos. I've uploaded them. So I'm just actually writing up the blog post right now to send off to simple stories. My deadline is today. So I want to get that done first thing. So that's nearly done. I'm almost there. Just sorting Louie out for school. Holly is um, doing her last A-level exam. She's not in school now for an exam until Friday. So she's home studying. And Louie is about to head off to school school he's had his breakfast and I'm about to go and do a maybe half an hour 45 minutes of power hour cleaning to get my day started and then I'll be back at my desk to continue with work food wise nothing in the crock pot today it's a leftover day we've got quite a bit left over from the weekend I made a huge paella yesterday and there's loads left over the kids didn't particularly like it because they're fussy and um, I don't want it going to waste so we are going to have paella with salad later they've got some other bits of leftovers that they can have tonight it's a football night so the boys are heading out quite early so we have to eat early and the kettle is boiling so that's my cue to go and make the second round of coffee and start my power hour stroke 45 minutes of cleaning Something that I try and do when I'm doing my cleaning routine is always try and do an extra job, just something that takes a couple of minutes and um, it just makes you feel good to feel that you've actually achieved something extra and it's always it's also a good way to get, like I say, those extra jobs done. Today I am going to be cleaning off the cooker hood. After I've finished cleaning all the grease and grime off, um, I use baby oil to shine it up, it works a treat. I bought some stocks on Friday and they literally started drooping a couple of days later so I've taken out the droopy ones and grabbed some weeds from the front garden just to fill them out a bit. Um, It's nearly nine o'clock and I've done my power hour, stroke 45 minutes of cleaning. I've hoovered all through, I've cleaned the stairs, I've cleaned the downstairs loo, I have cleaned the outside of the cupboards whilst the milk was frothing for the coffee and I've just done lots of bits and pieces. So that's really cool, it all feels nice and tidy. Aid's working in the lounge today so he's making it look messy. He works from home too, he works for a big American company, he's an IT project manager. So he's taking a break from his office today and is working from the lounge so I'm going to work in there a bit later too. For now I'm going to have a quick clean Monday morning and it feels a bit messy in here. I hate working in my studio when it's messy so I'm going to have a quick two minute blitz and then I'm going to get back to my desk. 
Sure. Just gone around with a wet wipe everywhere so it looks a little bit cleaner. Holly's actually gone into school for a couple of hours. Um, she's going to take an extra RS lesson. I've got the washing machine on, the dishwasher on, and it is one minute past nine. So I feel like I've done loads. It's a really nice feeling. I had my plan. I got my planner and my menu sorted last night. I try and do as many jobs as I can on a Sunday to eliminate them from my Monday list. Bins are being emptied. So there's lots of beeping going on. Uh, let's have a look at my to-do list. Um, I've got it loose from my planner here. I use the Coco Daisy, sorry, the glass is being emptied. Um, I use the Coco Daisy planner pages and I've got quite a few bits and pieces down here that I really want to do. I must finish my simple stories pages. I've got this layout here and this layout here. I'm uh, doing a blog post about um, using multiple photos on one page but still keeping some white space and not just completely filling it and making it look messy. Uh, what else have I got to do? Got to call the dentist. I missed an appointment last week. I feel so bad. I never forget things like that so I really must call up. I've got my Amazon and what can't speak my Amazon orders to make up I've also got some wedding orders that I need to pack up and also a couple of extra um, lollipop box club birthday kits they need to be done what else do I need to do there on there I have some bits and pieces to do for Coco Daisy that needs to be done right now I've also got to make my nanny a birthday card it's her birthday at the end of the week Talking of the end of the week, it's our Disney Fast Pass day. I can't wait on wet on Thursday. We can finally book our Fast Passes, so we're super excited about that. Also going to be paying off our the last remaining bit of our Disney holiday to, um, this week as well. I've got some other Coco Daisy bits to do, and I've got some Lollipop blog posts. They're ready to go. I just need to schedule them in, so that needs to be done as well. But I've already got a few bits and pieces ticked off, highlighted off my list, so that feels really good. My lollipop orders are packed up and I've just had a delivery. I think this should be something for the June kit. I received all the artwork last week. Um, the Yes, it is. All the postcards and bits and pieces. And um, I had a couple of problems with a couple of them though. So these should be the replacements. Let's have a look. Fingers crossed. This week cards. That means I can finish packing those now. These are all here. I'm just going to check the corners off though. Um, that was the problem last time. There was no extra packaging inside the box and all the corners were bashed. So I'm going to go through and check those. I am then going to pack up a couple of wedding orders, put the coffee on and I think that was the post. There was a big crash and um, I want to, while the coffee's been made, I'm going to unload the dishwasher as well. So Aid's home and he's brought home some more method cleaner, which I'm really excited about. This one is Sunny Citrus, I haven't smelled it yet. And also some more mint for the upstairs. We've been using the one cleaner so far and um, I needed one for the bathrooms upstairs. So I've just done that and then I cleaned my bathroom while I was upstairs. Um, I'm part way through unloading the dishwasher. I've sorted out the laundry and I have the next load on. I'm just unpacking this box. I placed a, another Wilco order. I've had trouble with Wilco recently. They're doing my head in actually um, with regards to delivery and bad packaging, etc. Um, but I've placed another order and it's come in dribs and drabs, I believe, or it's coming in dribs and drabs. Today I am receiving these jars I'm so pleased with these I'm in the midst of sorting out my larder and my baking cupboard I will be doing a vlog on those because I'm so excited about them um three pounds this was was it three pounds no packing label I'm sure they were three pounds and these smaller ones 250 I believe and so I want to put my bags of flour my sugar oh so the other one I've got a basket in the kitchen with muesli um, yogurt topper and chai chia seeds or chai seeds I never know what to say with those so I have got all these jars so I can get on with my larder redo I've got loads of those I might actually keep them in the box and they're safe. So I've also got more storage boxes coming and some cake tins and some few other bits and pieces coming. So I'm not sure when they'll be coming. But I'm pleased with that. I'm now going to go and finish doing the dishwasher. 
taken all my Amazon work into the lounge. Um, all my wedding stuff is packed up. I've got a pile of boxes there to go to the post office later. I've just had a banana. That was brunch. I'm going to make coffee and work in the lounge. Holly has, Holly's in the sitting room at the moment. She has 10 more minutes left of the Kardashians, which gives us perfect time to make our coffee and we will work in there then. And I'm going to find us a scary movie to watch. Just thought I'd give you a quick preview of the larder been working really hard on this and Aid's done something really clever. He's done an automatic light. Really pleased with that. So um, that's the larder at the moment. Um, it's down there, the flowers, all the um, bags of flour and sugar. So they're going to be replaced by my lovely new jars. And I'm going to give this a lovely spot of paint as well. So getting excited about this job. I was really excited about using these. So I am going to wash them up now. Um, I did check and they're not dishwasher proof so you do need to wash them by hand it's probably because of that rubber seal thing just lit a candle in here this is a pomegranate one I think I need to cut that wick down it's a bit high isn't it um, bought these candles from like the Hallmark card store or something um, two for ten pounds and I was a bit dubious to start with but they're actually quite nice I've had this one cinnamon bun and a mango one I think I'm gonna cut that down now it looks like now a house fire on our hands. King of candles, I just thought I'd share a little tip. I've been using these melts from Yankee Candle. We've had this one. This one is a the summer, I can't think what it's called, summer something, I'll show you in a sec. Really, really nice, but I've used it a few times now and you, you can't really smell it, but they still actually smell. They've still got a nice scent, so I use them to pop in cupboards and drawers. I'll just show you, I've got a little desk here in, this, in here, which is just used for bits and pieces. It always smells so nice because of all the candles, but it's the little um, thingies here. So I'm gonna go and pop this in one of the drawers upstairs, I think. This is it here, summer scoop. I think I'm going to burn that one in here again. It's such a lovely scent. This was the junk drawer recently, and I've turned it into a tea towel drawer. So actually, I think I'm gonna put the candle melt in here and it's gonna make it smell nice every time I open up the drawer. So while the coffee's just doing, I've um, dried these jars and I'm going to fill them with, I've got granola. See, at the moment, I've just been keeping them in this basket. I've got granola, the yogurt topper, and the chia seeds. So I'm now going to place them in the jars and they'll be nicely airtight then and it'll just look prettier. I've got everything in jars now. Um, I've got oops, rolls of these IKEA labels, they were really cheap to buy and I'm going to use a white pencil on the blackboard labels and I've just got a white pencil and a little pot of water, dip it in and then you can draw straight on the label and let them dry. So I've got my granola, granola, that will go on the front there, looks like chalkboard then, like chalk. Um, but it doesn't wipe off. And I've just popped them there. They wouldn't actually fit in that other box. They look quite nice there now. Aid's work set up today. He makes the lounge look really messy. So it is 10 to one and I'm finally set up on the lounge floor. I'm just downloading Eloise. Um, a group of friends wind up seriously regretting their decision to break into an abandoned, uh, insane asylum, psychological horror thriller. Um, one star, that sounds perfect for me. Um, it's, um, what time is it? Uh, 20 to four, I need to get my post up together. I've had a really productive afternoon. Um, I've got all my Amazon orders done. In case you're interested, I make up lots of little wedding-y gift bags um, on, that I sell on Amazon. Um, I've had another lollipop order that needs to go out today. So I'm getting everything ready. Louis has contacted me. He's staying late at school for extra drama. So that's happening and I need to get my stuff ready to go in the post in the next half an hour or so. So I'm gonna get all my orders packed up.
ready with my post. Um, just need to do the paperwork and seal up my Royal Man sacks and I can drive them around to the post office and just simply hand them in. It's quarter past four now and I've just got back from the post office. All my post has gone and I'm just doing a couple of kitchen jobs with Holly right now. wants the cake. I don't want the rubbish bag. Poppy, you want some cake? <laughs> Do you? Pops? Poppy. No, take it away from the thing. Poppy Aww. wants some cake. Just out for a walk. We've walked Poppy and dropped her home and now it's time for our power walk to lose a few more pounds before Florida. badly last night finishing my vlog so I'm now having to finish it on Tuesday morning um, I got really involved with something with Coco Daisy last night and it just went on far too long and I obviously started or oh, I set my alarm for 4.30 yesterday morning and I was still sat at my desk at 10 o'clock in the evening um, so I really didn't feel like coming back on and filming I did however finish the DIY kits that I was making for the Lollipop Box Club June kits so they're done and I finished work at about half past 10 I think and Ada and I watched a new series that's just started on ITV I believe Fearless, Fearsome, Fearless I think something like that it was quite good though it was the first one last night so that was quite good. Um, this morning I am just tackling my to-do list. I did really well yesterday. Uh, these are always my advisories along the bottom for the rest of the week so if I can tick anything of those off it's a bonus but I did really well. Look at all those highlighted bits. So that's pleased me. Today's list. Um, still got to make Nanny a birthday card so I need to do that. Um, got some emails to do. I need to get the letters printed for the front of my June um, kits need to do those and set up the download codes I need to do the blog post for tomorrow I've made some cards using the kits I need to film my unboxing video I need to get my creative team kits out and I want to get my nails done um, I chopped my thumbnail off in the dishwasher yesterday um, I must get my nails done they're looking really shabby as well so they need doing and I've got a few other bits and pieces I've also while I was having my coffee I have printed off my mouse keeping envelopes um, we're staying at the beach club in Disney for six nights of our stay. So, um, look, aren't these cute? So these are for not housekeeping, but mousekeeping. So print those off and Holly and I are going to make those later. Also being on, I go on, um, the Dib. I'll leave a link below. It's a really, really good planning forum for people traveling, not only to Disney actually, but to other places within the US. Um, and there's a checklist here I, I have all my own lists anyway but um, I still print these off anyway there's five lists because you never know if you may have forgotten something I also transferred all my flowers and my sugars over to my jars this morning so that's good and they look rather nice in my larder so that's me I think I'm gonna say goodbye for now like I said um, I don't like Mondays it's a real mishmash of a day I would much rather get in and do something um, so I want to get all my desk jobs done now now it's Tuesday get all these out the way and then I've got to do I'm just looking at all my piles on my desk I'm clipping together all the printables um, for the June kit today they shouldn't take too long um, I don't know maybe three hours something like that and then get the treat bags done and then I can start kit packing Yay. have a lovely day thank you for joining me please do subscribe if you don't already and um, I shall see you soon thanks bye my simple stories pages I've got this layout here and this layout here I'm uh, doing a blog post about um, using multiple photos on one page but still keeping some white space and not just completely filling it and making it look messy uh, what else have I got to do got to call the dentist I missed an appointment last week I feel so bad I never forget things like that so I really must call up I've got my Amazon 
can't speak, my Amazon orders to make up. I've also got some wedding orders that I need to pack up and also a couple of extra um, lollipop box club birthday kits. They need to be done. What else do I need to do there on there? I have some bits and pieces to do for Coco Daisy. That needs to be done right now. I've also got to make my nanny a birthday card. It's her birthday at the end of the week. Talking of the end of the week, it's our Disney Fast Pass day. I can't wait on wet on Thursday. We can finally book our Fast Passes, so we're super excited about that. Also going to be paying off our the last remaining bit of our Disney holiday to, um, this week as well. I've got some other Coco Daisy bits to do and I've got some lollipop blog posts. They're ready to go. I just need to schedule them in so that needs to be done as well. But I've already got a few bits and pieces ticked off, highlighted off my... Hi there, I'm Lisa. Lisa from Lollipop Box Club. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you. Um, I am going to be doing another day in the life of a working mum today. Um, I have actually already started work. I didn't do this very well. I wanted to do a typical Monday vlog. I really don't like Mondays. It's my worst day of the week, which probably sounds a little strange when I work from home and I decide what I'm doing that day. But Mondays are always more of a catch up day after the weekend. I have loads of admin to do, which I really hate. I like the creating side of my business. I don't like the paperwork side. And although I don't actually take a day off and I work Monday Monday through till Sunday. Um, at the weekend I tend to do more jobs within the family area so that I can still be around my family. So I do less um, paperwork, um, desk jobs as I call them. So Monday's always more of a catch up day. I've got quite a long uh, list of to do's today. I did actually, I worked through till 10.30 last night and my alarm was set for 4.30 this morning as I really do have so much. I needed that head start this morning. I did hit the snooze button a couple of times and I didn't start filming from then because because I felt so tired. I felt really rubbish this morning. I'm sorted. I've had a good stint of work already. I've sent off emails. I've paid invoices and I'm in the middle of doing my simple stories um, blog post. I've done all the artwork yesterday. I've edited all the photos. I've uploaded them. So I'm just actually writing up the blog post right now to send off to simple stories. My deadline is today. So I want to get that done first thing. So that's nearly done. I'm almost there. Just sorting Louis out for school. Holly is um, doing her last A-level exam. She's not in school now for an exam until Friday. So she's home studying. And Louis is about to head off to school school he's had his breakfast and I'm about to go and do a maybe half an hour 45 minutes of power hour cleaning to get my day started and then I'll be back at my desk to continue with work food wise nothing in the crock pot today it's a leftover day we've got quite a bit left over from the weekend I made a huge paella yesterday and there's loads left over the kids didn't particularly like it because they're fussy and um, I don't want it going to waste so we are going to have paella with salad later they've got some other bits of leftovers that they can have tonight it's a football night so the boys are heading out quite early so we have to eat early and the kettle is boiling so that's my cue to go and make the second round of coffee and start my power hour stroke 45 minutes of cleaning the outside of the cupboards whilst the milk was a frothing for the coffee and I've just done lots of bits and pieces so that's really cool it all feels nice and tidy Aid's working in the lounge today so he's making it look messy he works from home too he works for a big American company he's an IT project manager so he's taking a break from his office today and is working from the lounge so I'm gonna work in there a bit later too for now I'm gonna have a quick clean Monday morning and it feels a bit messy in here I hate working in my studio when it's messy so I'm gonna have a quick two minute blitz and then I'm gonna get back to my desk job. Just gone around with a wet wipe everywhere so it looks a little bit cleaner. Holly's actually gone into school for a couple of hours. Um, she's going to take an extra RS lesson. I've got the washing machine on, the dishwasher on, and it is one minute past nine. So I feel like I've done loads. It's a really nice feeling. I had my plan, I got my planner and my menu sorted last night. I try and do as many jobs as I can on a Sunday to eliminate them from my Monday list. Bins are being emptied, so there's lots of beeping going on. Uh, let's have a look at my to-do list. Um, I've got it loose from my planner here. I use the Coco Daisy, sorry, the glass is being emptied. Um, I use the Coco Daisy planner pages 
and I've got quite a few bits and pieces down here that I really want to do. I must finish. Something that I try and do when I'm doing my cleaning routine is always try and do an extra job, just something that takes a couple of minutes and um, it just makes you feel good to feel that you've actually achieved something extra and it's always it's also a good way to get like I say those extra jobs done today I am going to be cleaning off the cooker hood after I've finished cleaning all the grease and grime off um, I use baby oil to shine it up, it works a treat. I bought some stocks on Friday and they literally started drooping a couple of days later so I've taken out the droopy ones and grabbed some weeds from the front garden just to fill them out a bit. It's nearly nine o'clock and I've done my power hour stroke 45 minutes of cleaning. I've hoovered all through, I've cleaned the stairs, I've cleaned the downstairs loo, I have cleaned